Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you three designs that you can use to visualize data instead of having those boring charts. So for the first design I'm gonna start by changing the color of the background. So right click format background and I had already predefined three colors that I'm gonna use throughout this tutorial. And then we're going to go to insert chart and we're going to insert a pie chart. So I'm going to click OK and PowerPoint automatically opens an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to drag this square up because I'm just going to use two data entries here. So on this cell right here, I'm going to put the number that I want to showcase from this um, pie chart. And on this one right here, I'm going to put the remaining number, the one that's not going to show up. So in my case, it would be 100% minus the second cell. And we're going to get a chart like this one. So then I'm just going to remove the information that I don't need, which is the legend and the title until the chart looks a little bit like this. And then I'm going to double click this slice right here. And I'm going to change the shape fill color. Then I'm going to select the other slides and click on no fill and also no outline if you have an outline. And I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left. And then I'm going to start inserting my text. So for this one, I'm going to write the number and I'm going to use the font Vivas. I'm going to increase the size with this button here and then I'm going to change the color to white and put it on top of my pie slice and holding control you can duplicate that text box so it's easier to change the content and for this tutorial I'm going to use the exact same information across the three slides so you can see that you're not limited to just one option when you're um, trying to create more engaging charts and more engaging ways to visualize data. So I'm just setting up um, some fake information, hopefully, because honestly, who doesn't like s'mores? So my fake data is 35% of campers don't like s'mores. And I'll just add a little disclaimer here saying that it's according to me. Now I'm going to insert a circle and I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard to make it perfect. And then I'll go to unsplash.com, which is a free image website. And I'll just copy this image that I found of some campers. So right click, copy image, and then select picture or texture fill from clipboard and then click on crop and this way you can reposition your image and make it larger, make it smaller, etc. And then just right click and send to back. If you want to make sure that it is aligned with the first chart that we did, you just need to select the circle and the chart and then go to shape format, align, align to center and align to middle and that way it is perfectly centered. If you need to reposition your image you just have to click on the circle, go to picture format, crop and then move your image and I'll show you how I did the animations at the end of the video so let's move on to the second slide. For this one, I'm going to start with a navy background and then I'm going to copy the number from my previous slide and paste it into the new one. And I'm going to increase the size with this button here. And I'm going to take the percentage out of this text box and I'm going to paste it because I want it smaller in comparison to the number. And then I'm going to insert a rectangle that's going to go over the area of the slide, just a little bit, doesn't need to be that much. And then we're going to select everything, go to shape format, then merge layers, and then click on combine. 
then I'm going to click on no outline from the format shape panel and then I'm going to change the color to the one that we would have as a background. Then I'm going to insert a rectangle to represent the 35%. So assuming that the height of the number corresponds to 100, a rectangle of this size would be equivalent to 35%. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it's just a representation. And for this one, I'm just going to change the color. And then I'm going to right click and send to back. And then I'm going to click on animations and click on fly in. And then click on animation pane. And then right click on this item right here and start with previews. And then I'm just going to insert the rest of my content. And then I'm going to insert an image that I found online and it's just a PNG of a s'mores. I found this one on Google and I'm just going to make it smaller and put it around here. And I'll just move the text a little bit to the right. Now, the third way is kind of a infographic style. So again, I'm going to start by changing the color of the background, adding my content. And the only difference here is that I'm going to put the 35% here because I'm going to represent this number here with icons on the left. So let's go to insert icons and then I'm going to look for camping icons. So I'll just write the word camp and I'm going to pick this little camper here. And now I'll need to duplicate it 100 times, <laughs> but it's very easy to do. You just have to drag it to the right and I'm going to create a row of 10 people because it will be easier to duplicate those 10 people as a group to create 100. Make sure that everything is aligned by selecting all of the icons here and then go to graphics format, align and distribute horizontally. And then you can group this first row here and then just drag it down another nine times. And then select all of the rows here go to graphics format again, go to align and distribute vertically. And then you can group everything to make it smaller. And there you go. That's how we have 100 people here. And then I'm just going to change the color of 35 of these icons here out of 100. So just select them, go to shape fill, and you can change the color from here. And I missed this row. So again, I'm going to change it. And for the rest of them, I'm going to change them to white because we don't want the attention to focus on those right there. And to make it easier for the animation, I'm just going to group um, all of these icons right here. And for the animations, I'm going to use my animations template that you can get from my website, lurutiappt.com. And I will also link the video in the description where I talked about how you can use this template to create super quick animations in your PowerPoints. It is honestly one of the quickest ways to animate all of your slides and you just have to select the animation that you want then go to animations click on the animation painter here and then you can go back to your slides and just apply it to all of your elements you can apply it to images to text boxes to absolutely everything and that's it guys, that's how I created these three different ways to visualize data in PowerPoint. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more PowerPoint tutorials. And also all of my free templates are available on lurutiappt.com. 
so make sure to check that out as always thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i will see you on my next video